Well, not far from where the governor stopped today, the La Crosse Regional Airport hosted an exercise preparing for a potential airline emergency. The training brings together agencies from across the country to test passenger uh, readiness if a passenger aircraft were to crash at the airport. Uh, the simulation was complete with a partial plane, fire and smoke, while volunteer actors added a key human element to simulate as much realism as possible. You know, I, I think the biggest thing for us is that this would not be successful if it weren't for the entities that have uh, brought volunteers here tonight with the Civil Air Patrol and Western Technical College. Uh, but with them having uh, live individuals and, uh, playing the role of, of passengers and crew and family members, this could not be as realistic as it possibly could be. Airport Director Ian Turner says it's all part of making it a complete learning experience for everyone involved in this type of emergency response. Now, some might be wondering about how they battled that training fire given the PFAS concern over the firefighting foam that's federally mandated at airports. Turner noted, however, that the drill used only water, no aqueous film forming foam.